Um, we're gonna get to the final gold medal topic. I just thought this was fascinating, my gold medal topic. Um, Greg Schiano was hired by Tennessee and then fired after a public outcry um, on the internet, connecting him to um, the Joe Paterno, Jerry Sandusky era. There was a there was a specific quote, and uh, the, it's, you know this might not be fun to hear, but he was saying that he didn't hear anything. He he that he he claims he didn't see anything in the showers, but there is a quote. Uh, that is really unsourced, so it's kind of foolish to propagate this, but what people are saying is that he di uh, he was saying that he just saw something in the showers, and he said that to one of the assistant coaches, uh, who was Mike McQuarrie at the time. Oh. So that, so that in the end, it's, it's really murky, and I feel like... It's a really murky situation. I feel like journalistic integrity says that if, if something's unsourced, we shouldn't go off of that. I really feel like it's right. hearsay. Right. And trust me, I don't. I'm not a Penn State supporter at all. I th I think what they did was despicable, and they should have got even more than they well, got. Well, it wasn't the institution. It was. Well, but anyway, we'll get to that later. But it for me, this this is really a shame that we let this mob mentality kind of come and just control the situation. <laughs> I, and I really, in the end, this is about the fact that Greg Schiano is not that very good of a coach. Yeah. And this wasn't a sexy hire, and they didn't want that. Yeah. But in the end, everyone they've offered since has been uh, significantly worse than Schiano as a coach. Let's right. be honest. I agree. That's the, that's the sad part. If, if you were getting John Gruden, it's one thing. But you're not getting John Gruden. You're getting, you're getting a bunch of unproven it's guys. Who are, John Gruden they're is. saying they want to bring in Jason Witten. At one point, wow. and Jason Witten is like, I'm just thinking about the Redskins because that was the next game on, right. the, on the docket, right. and like that's how desperate you are. You're grabbing someone who's currently on a roster. That's crazy. So that, that's crazy. I don't know. What do you guys think of this? I mean, it's easy to say let's not let this mob mentality do whatever when you're not running an athletic program or not running a university because that whole Penn State situation was very very bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what, what Jerry Sandusky and Joe Paterno let happen and yeah. did. Yeah, and you and, just don't want anyone connected and to that. You don't, that that's right. the thing. It's like, you and know, that's a very valid point. And it, it's just, you know, we talk about this in the comedy community. We were joking, like, hey, like, if you ever pull a Louis C.K. in front of a girl, let me know now so I can cut you off. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's, it, but it's just like, I, I get it from Tennessee's side, but I also feel for Shiano because that sucks to have get, gotten the job. Obviously, whatever he did or was involved in at Penn State or what they think he was, isn't what we think if he already had it. I feel like if he already had a job, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like he wouldn't be employed somewhere if he really was involved in that situation, you know what I'm saying? But, like like I said, also, if you're running at an institution, you don't want anybody even remotely involved in that. Well, that's, so, here's Associated. A, well, here's a... Appears of evil. Right. I, I want to play devil's advocate to you because... You just said, you know, the players shouldn't be punished for what happened. Yeah. But then you're saying, Greg Schiano. I know. If, if he could, because here's the thing, what we're saying. Well, the players didn't have anything to do with that. Well, they yeah, but it's like, what, what, what is the line where you say, no matter what, you are guilty by association? Well, I'm not saying he's guilty something. by association, but there's speculation that he saw something and didn't say something. Well, okay, it, okay. Let's put it this way: If he saw something and didn't say anything, we all agree that this is a right. justifiable. But we don't thing. know that for but, sure. But but yeah. based on the hearsay yeah. of it, uh, that's what I'm saying. It, there is no because here's the thing: they hire him, and three months later, something comes out that he was in the shower with the, with them and stuff like well, that. Well, yeah, that, that. And then what do you look? Then you're like, well, y'all had the chance to not hire him because you know how everybody is. Whenever you're wrong, it's the worst thing in the world. So they're just like, oh, well, you didn't have, you had a chance not to hire him, so this is your fault. You hired a rapist, it's, and so like that. And they, they, as when you hire people at a big institution like Tennessee, you go through all of those worst case scenarios, and so that's why they didn't go through with it. And if that, but the thing is, if that was the case, you never should have offered him a job anyway, because I just don't think that's ethical to embarrass a man like that. It here's my one thing, and you guys made have made a lot of good points here. Um, this is the only thing I'm gonna say. Greg Keanu's not a good coach, so I <laughs> 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 that they didn't hire him. It was an awful decision to hire him anyway. Yes. Out of all the candidates in college, college football, out of all the candidates in the NFL, he's the person that you said we have to have Greg Keanu. He's an awful coach. 
Yeah. Like he ran the bucks into the ground before Lovey Smith got there. Um, and, and he got a job from his friend Urban Meyer, gave him a job as defensive coordinator at Ohio State. It's a job that it's foolproof. You really don't have to do anything. You get all these great recruits that Urban Meyer brings in. And you can say, hey, go out there and hit somebody. And like, you But in reality, he's still the awful coach that the Bucks had all those years ago. So it worked out for Tennessee. And they got um, Alabama's defensive coordinator, who they're going to sign tomorrow as their head coach. So it really works out, and it probably works out in the long run for, for Tennessee. Yeah, this, Way better. yeah, Tennessee they made the right choice. Honestly, they probably hired him was like, uh, we don't want him anymore. Make something up. So, hey, that's how it well, works. You do make a good point. It all kind of it, it all kind of worked out except for Shiano. But yeah. the one thing he did turn around Rutgers, which is like a pretty uh, a lame uh, college for uh, straight through schedule, straight through schedule. Okay, SEC elitism over here. Wait, how hard is it to turn Rutgers around? Who do they play? Hey, wait, 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 listen, listen. I'm a Big Ten guy, and I don't want Rutgers in the Big Ten. <laughs> That's exactly. They can go back to where they came from. Right, I, I forgot Rutgers made the move. They're, well, no, but, in the Big East. But look at how you view them, and he had them winning 9 and 10 games at one point. 9 and 10 games against who? Okay. It wasn't in the Big They weren't in the Big Ten. <laughs> right, they weren't in the Big Ten yet when this happened. Okay. I remember when Shiano was coaching. They weren't in the Big Ten yet. Yeah. Right. So this, in fact, this is probably the toughest schedule Rutgers has ever played, and look how they're. I'm just saying this story is so weird. I actually felt sympathy for Greg Shiano. I feel bad for him. So it's like that's how weird it is because he, you, in the end, everything Russell is saying is totally correct, but it's just so weird that I. I just don't like seeing somebody get embarrassed on TV like that. You know? Yeah, he's an average. He's an average coach, though. He got fast. Fast. He got no, fast. he's a bad coach. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think that's true. All right, so 